All right, here we go, episode two of our Cursed City painting series. We're going to be doing the Dire Goyle. Goyle. Dire Goyle, there we go. Uh, and if you've been playing this game as I have, you know these little bastards are the uh, epitome of P.O.S. They are absolute garbage. They stole half my crap. Ah, so they can suck it. Um, if it's the first time on the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, hit that thumbs up. But anyway, let's go. First thing we're going to want to do is spray paint a Mechanicus Standard Gray. Check the links in the description if you are looking for any specific thing that I use. Then we're going to use a Ministratum Gray and we're going to do a dry brush around the entire miniature for a quick little highlight. So just go ahead and hit everything. Nice easy strokes, nothing crazy. Don't cram your brush into the mouth of our Dire Goyle. Just get his little ass in gear. If you get some on anything else, it really doesn't make a damn difference at all. So, just hit that whole thing. Now we're going to use Basilicanum Gray for all of our skin. If you Again, if you get this on anything else, it doesn't matter. It's not that big of a deal. So, just go ahead and hit the entire skin portion. If you get some on the teeth or the horns or in the eyes, again... It don't matter. We are going to highlight our skin with some administratum gray, some pure administratum gray. I'm using a wet palette, so uh, that's how I paint all my miniatures is using a wet palette. Um, by thinning it and keeping it consistently thin. And we're going to hit this miniature like as if we were going to do highlights of skin on the eyebrows, the cheeks, the nose, the chin, our knuckles, our fingertips, our fingers, outlining of the bat wings, the top and the bottom, and just do those major spots on top of the toes and whatnot. That way we can get a nice little bright highlight and make some two tones of gray on our POS. But I hate this thing. And I'm using a size one Rosemary & Co. brush that I thoroughly enjoy. They make a great product. But for some stupid reason, uh, the hair that they use is now banned in America. I don't know why. Maybe it caused COVID. Couldn't tell you. We're going to paint that treasure box, the vessel he uses to steal your crap and then try to go to the nearest exit. I ran into one of these things on our first encounter in our game group and it stole my crap and made it to the exit in one turn. I hope this thing dies a fiery death in hell. But if you don't go there, why don't you head over to our Instagram which is nerd.nights and I'm always posting new stuff. Upcoming miniatures, um, games that we're doing. We got a lot of stuff coming up, so head over there and check it out when you get a break. Or uh, right now, just do it now. For the metal bits on our treasure box, we're going to use a lead belcher, which is our you know basic silver color we always use. For our teeth and horns, we're going to use Morgast Bone. It's going to be our base color for that. To highlight what we just did with the Morgast Bone, we're going to use Pal Witch Flesh. And we're just going to use the tips of this on the horns, and we're going to get this on the teeth. And for that money you just jacked from you, yep, you, we're going to use Retributor Armor for that gold coin he's chewing on. Little bastard.
For the eyes, our first color we're going to use is a little Mephiston Red. We're going to make this a little demon-like. Or like that old school Gargoyles cartoon I used to watch when I was a kid. I used to love that show. And the highlight of the red, we're going to use a little Evil Suns Scarlet just to make it a little bit brighter. If you want to take it one step further, I did not, but if you wanted to take it one step further, you could then use some Wild Water Red or a Wazaka Red to make it just a little bit brighter in the eyes, but I just decided to stop here because I hated this miniature. We're going to be using some Earth Texture from Vallejo. It's going to be a dark earth. And we're going to spread this on, obviously, the base of our miniature. It's going to take about an hour to dry after we put it on. You don't have to use this exact color, but this is what I'm using for right now. We're going to highlight here in a second. But use whatever you got. You don't need to go crazy on it. Just something to break up the monotony of it. Uh, we're going to use a dry brush of Terminatus stone on that dried. Obviously, let that dry Vallejo or Dark Earth. And that'll give it a nice little two-tone variant. And then finally, we're going to put some Agrax Earth Shade to kind of dull it down just a little bit. Um, while that is drying, I'm also going to hit it with uh, the rim of the base with a little Mechanicus Standard Gray. And that's all we're doing to make this little monster tabletop ready. There it's it, you did it. Uh, I know this is kind of a crappy uh, video of these little uh, shiitakes, but uh, they're so tiny that they're they're hard to film. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but yeah, you did it, you did a good job. Not a lot of steps, did a good job, proud of you. Uh, I wanna say thank you for watching, for all of the subscribers out there or people that are thinking about subscribing. I appreciate you watching the video. Please leave a comment in the comment section below. And give it a thumbs up and spread the word. I'm trying to make it bigger, but without further ado, paint on.